good morning students welcome to all fours e learning classes this is zoology subject uh, chapter chemical control and coordination session number 3 we are going to discuss the pituitary gland in previous two sessions we discussed uh, the introduction to the endocrine system the hormones their properties and the second session we have discussed the hypothalamus now let's discuss pituitary gland pituitary gland is the ectodermal in origin there is the every organ in our body is produced from primary germinal layers so the same way endocrine system itself the endocrine glands are of uh, the three primary germinal layers in origin now i am going to list out uh, the different uh, endocrine glands uh, and of their origin from a primary germinal layer ectodermal ectoderm ectoderm list out this ectoderm next uh, mesoderm mesoderm and the endoderm and endoderm so in this connection the list of the endocrine glands if we see from ectoderm pituitary 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 pineal pituitary pineal hypothalamus hypothalamus and the hypothalamus as well as uh, the adrenal medulla adrenal gland is uh, adrenal gland uh, is with both uh, the hormones from medulla region as well as the cortex region so pituitary pineal hypothalamus adrenal medulla and uh, under the mesoderm origin adrenal cortex adrenal cortex adrenal cortex next the gonads gonads includes uh, both testis and ovary gonads include uh, testis and uh, ovary next the kidneys kidneys next the thymus thymus is of uh, the mesodermal in origin whereas if we see the endoderm thyroid 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 next parathyroid 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 and uh, the thyroid gland parathyroid as well as the pancreas so in this connection so all the endocrine glands that listed uh, are of uh, comes under any of the three primary general layers if you see the ectoderm region ectoderm germinal layer from ectoderm pituitary pineal hypothalamus adrenal gland from mesoderm adrenal cortex gonads that includes both the testis and ovary kidneys and the thymus whereas from uh, the endoderm we do see the thyroid parathyroid and pancreas this is uh, the list of the origin of uh, the endocrine glands various endocrine glands in this uh, let's move on to discuss uh, the one that of uh, the ectodermal origin uh, pituitary pituitary is of uh, the ectodermal in origin <coughs> pituitary gland is of a uh, ectodermal it is a small it is a uh, ectodermal small and uh, the rounded endocrine gland it is a uh, it lies in the ventral side of the hypothalamus it lies below the dense phloem uh, that is a uh, dense phloem is named to be the thalamus phloem whose uh, dorsal side is epithalamus ventral side is hypothalamus 
so it lies in the hypothalamus ventral side of the dance pylon and lies in a bony depression name it to be the cella tersica cella tersica a bony depression of a the sphenoid bone the sphenoid bone we know very well sphenoid is a uh, one of uh, the cranial bone which is the keystone bone sphenoid sphenoid is the keystone bone why it is the keystone bone as it is articulated to all other bones of the cranium so it is named to be the keystone this sphenoid bone have a, a bony depression named to be the cella tersica where the pituitary gland lies it is of ectodermal in origin and uh, it is uh, the small rounded uh, endocrine gland this endocrine gland called pituitary lies on the ventral side of the dance pylon in the hypothalamus it attaches to the hypothalamus by means of a infundibulum stalk infundibulum stalk infundibulum yes in the previous class we discussed uh, its location that is in the dance pylon ventral side it lies and it is also said to be the hence uh, it is said to be the hypophysis hypophysis which is uh, the ventral side of the dance pylon and it includes mainly the three parts are present uh, pituitary gland includes the three parts which is the pars anterior pars uh, anterior or anterior lobe and uh, pars intermedia pars uh, intermedia pars intermedia and uh, pars distalis pars uh, distalis orals uh, it is also named to be the pars nervosa pars uh, nervosa in general this pars anterior is named to be the anterior pituitary which is nothing but adeno hypophysis adeno hypophysis anterior pituitary is uh, referred to as uh, the adeno hypophysis whereas the pars distalis is uh, the posterior um, pituitary which is named to be the neuro hypophysis neuro hypophysis and uh, the pars intermedia which is uh, the intermediate lobe which is uh, well developed in the lower vertebrates but uh, it is almost all atrophied in the case of the human beings that's the reason why this pars intermedia is uh, said to be the degenerated or atrophied or in sync so the pituitary gland is hypophysis the another term term or name and it is uh, adeno hypophysis neuro hypophysis adeno hypophysis is nothing but the anterior pituitary or pars anterior and this is the posterior pituitary or pars distalis pars nervosa neuro hypophysis the pituitary gland is uh, treated uh, it is considered to be the master gland it is considered to be the master gland why it is considered to be the master gland the due reason is pituitary gland is the gland which releases the hormones uh, for suppose the gonadotropins fsh and lh are uh, the hormones named to be the gonadotropins these are the hormone which uh, influence the gonads it to be the testis and ovary and uh, release uh, their respective hormones means the gland which uh, influence the other gland uh, of uh, their uh, secretion and release that's what um, the pituitary is said to be the master gland and uh, the thyroid stimulating hormone released from the adeno hypophysis uh, what stimulate the thyroid gland to secrete the thyroxin adenocorticotropic hormone stimulate the cortex of the adrenal gland to secrete the corticoid hormone this is the reason why the pituitary gland is uh, treated uh, considered uh, master gland master endocrine gland however uh, the pituitary is the master uh, 
endocrine gland band master of an orchestra its hormones are also being influenced by hypothalamus that's the reason why hypothalamus is said to be the master gland control center growth hormone releasing hormone growth hormone inhibitory hormone prolactin releasing hormone prolactin inhibitory hormone and uh, gonadotropin releasing hormone corticotropin releasing hormone thyrotropic releasing hormone melanocytic stimulating releasing hormone melanocytic inhibitory hormone these are all uh, the releasing and inhibitory hormone uh, which uh, influence the uh, pituitary adeno hypophysis to release their hormones that's the reason why the pituitary gland is a master gland however but hypothalamus is uh, treated to be the master gland control center right so the pituitary gland which is of uh, the three parts according to some consideration in general but in human beings we discuss it is adeno hypophysis and neuro hypophysis this pituitary gland is of uh, the dual origin uh, dual origin it is treated it is considered to be dual origin means it is a origin from the two sources it is of two sources in origin one from uh, the roof of a uh, roof of uh, the oral cavity roof of the oral cavity and another from a uh, infundibulum 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 of uh, the infundibulum uh, process of hypothalamus hypothalamus so it is of two sources one from uh, the roof of the oral cavity and another from the hypothalamus so it is of dual origin in its uh, formation two sources in a uh, formation one source is from the roof of the oral cavity and another is the hypothalamus let me clear you embryonically when uh, the human beings are uh, at an embryonic stage from the roof of the buccal cavity or oral cavity we know very well that is the head is regionalized into the buccal cavity oral cavity and the nasal cavity or nasal chamber so from the roof of the oral cavity means the palate from the roof of the oral cavity there present uh, the rath case pouch rath case uh, pouch uh, is uh, an embryonic outgrowth an embryonic uh, outgrowth name it uh, formed from the roof of the oral cavity name it to be the rath case pouch from which uh, the adeno hypophysis is formed uh, on the uh, ventral side of the dancephala once its uh, formation is uh, completed once the formation of the adeno hypophysis uh, over then uh, the rath case pouch detached from the adeno hypophysis this is the one source of its origin second is uh, from infundibular process infundibular process of the hypothalamus uh, the neuro hypophysis is formed so one from the rath case pouch uh, an embryonic outgrowth uh, from the roof of the oral cavity and another from the infundibular process of the hypothalamus that's the reason why the pituitary is uh, of a dual origin are formed from the two sources this pituitary gland whose uh, pars anterior and adeno hypophysis uh, is of secreting uh, the proteinoid hormones proteinoid hormones whereas the neuro hypophysis is secreting the peptide hormones let's move on to the list of uh, the pituitary anterior uh, hormones uh, that is the list of the hormones uh, from uh, the adeno hypophysis i repeat the adeno hypophysis in the sense uh, the anterior part of uh, the pituitary is uh, treated to be the adeno hypophysis uh, so in this connection uh, the list of the hormones from adeno hypophysis adeno hypo physis one it is a growth hormone 
ऑरल्सा इट इज अ सोमैटोट्रोपिक हार्मोन ग्रोथ हार्मोन और सोमैटोट्रोपिक हार्मोन दैट इज अ वी सी दिस इज अ द एडिनो हाइपोफाइसिस वेयर एज दिस इज द न्यूरो हाइपोफाइसिस न्यूरो हाइपोफाइसिस फ्रॉम एडिनो हाइपोफाइसिस ग्रोथ हार्मोन और सोमैटोट्रोपिक हार्मोन नेक्स्ट the adrenocorticotropic hormone acth adrenocorticotropic hormone this is the hormone next uh, the thyroid stimulating hormone thyroid stimulating hormone next luteotropic hormone luteotropic hormone lth next the other is a gonadotropins which includes a gonadotropins gonadotropins the gonadotropins are fsh fsh and uh, lh and uh, lh even uh, the as in the case of uh, the human beings uh, the intermediate lobe uh, merged with that of the adeno hypophysis or pars anterior and become an integral part of it so almost all it shrinks or else atrophied or else it become integral part of the adeno hypophysis that's the reason why we do discuss uh, the msh melanocytic stimulating hormone also as a part of the adeno hypophysis but we'll discuss uh, the both uh, in human beings and uh, other members so 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 luteinizing hormone which is also named to be the icsh interstitial cell stimulating hormone gonadotropin fsh and lh both are comes under the gonadotropin luteotropic hormone thyroid stimulating hormone adrenocorticotropic hormone and uh, growth hormone or somatotropic hormone these are uh, the hormones uh, released from uh, the adeno hypophysis let's discuss uh, the hormones uh, individually the one which is said to be the growth hormone or sth sth or uh, the growth hormone first of all somatotropic hormone we have discussed that um, the every hormone has uh, its uh, the target specific target cells or tissues or organ exception is the case with uh, the growth hormone or sth as well as uh, the thyroxine we have discussed gonadotropin hormone is uh, also named to be the somatotropic the due reason is it is affecting the different parts somatic organs this growth hormone whose secretion uh, and uh, inhibition is also under the control of the hypothalamus that is we discussed that uh, growth hormone releasing hormone or somatocrinin growth hormone inhibitory hormone somatostatin two are released which are antagonistic to each other if the growth hormone uh, levels are low somatocrinin is released and uh, this somatocrinin or growth hormone releasing hormone from a hypothalamus through hypophysial circulation reach the adeno hypophysis and stimulate the adeno hypophysis to secret the growth hormone if the growth hormone levels are somatotropic hormone levels are become normal then uh, the somatostatin is released or uh, growth hormone inhibitory hormone is released this is name it to be the negative feedback mechanism okay if this uh, uh, levels of the growth hormone is low somatocrinin is more if the growth hormone levels are normal somatostatin is released negative feedback now let's see the functions of the growth hormone growth hormone is the hormone play vital role in stimulating the liver cells to produce a insulin like growth factors insulin like uh, insulin like growth uh, factors ig insulin like growth factors igfs nothing but insulin like growth factors
that is the growth hormone or somatotropic hormone stimulate the cells of the liver cells to synthesize insulin like growth factors thereby increases the glucose level so that uh, the nutrients are made available and uh, this uh, growth hormone also causes the protein uh, anabolism that is uh, the protein synthesis is uh, influenced by growth hormone proteins are very very we know very well proteins are building materials of the body thereby the growth of the different body parts particularly the bones and the muscles are grow besides that uh, the growth hormone is a hormone play role in uh, it stimulate the it stimulate the growth and development of it promote the growth and development of the epiphyseal plate so that the elongation of the bone takes place epiphyseal plate recall your memory we know very well that is a uh, this is a uh, a long bone a long bone is a uh, with the uh, epiphyseal plate right the epiphyseal plate due to the growth hormone the growth hormone stimulate the epiphyseal plate in the bone and uh, promote the cell division and cell differentiation thereby elongation of the bone takes place so growth occurs this is why the growth hormone is a somatotropic hormone is said to be the growth hormone i repeat it is the one which stimulate the cells of the liver to synthesize to produce insulin like growth factors thereby stimulate the protein synthesis and it prevents the inhibit the protein catabolism and it also causes uh, the stimulate and promotes the cell differentiation cell growth and uh, elongation of the epiphyseal plate so that the bone is elongated so results in um, the growth of the bone so it is what a somatotropic hormone or growth hormone whose influence is in uh, the bones and uh, the muscles right next uh, adenocorticotropic hormone adenocorticotropic hormone is again this is also stimulating the cortex of the cortex of the adrenal cortex of the adrenal is influenced by the adenocorticotropic hormone so corticoid hormone generally the cortex region of the adrenal gland is with the, the glucocorticoid mineralocorticoid sex corticoids how this the corticoid hormones are stimulated by acth itself this is the reason why it is said to be the master gland right next uh, the and the one more point to remember and uh, look at uh, the adenocortico the full the abbreviation of acth is acth is uh, the adenocorticotropic hormone this hormone is influenced by corticotropin releasing hormone of the hypothalamus also recall your memory we have discussed uh, that uh, the got corticotropin releasing hormone is synthesized in the hypothalamus itself that corticotropin releasing hormone stimulate the acth and this acth what uh, show the influence on um, the adrenal cortex to secretes its corticoid hormones next thyroid stimulating hormone ths tsh stands for thyroid stimulating hormone thyroid stimulating thyroid stimulating hormone stimulating hormone tsh thyroid stimulating hormone this is a hormone proteinoid hormone of the adenohypophysis this stimulate the thyroid gland this stimulate the thyroid gland to secrete it's a thyroxin it's a thyroxin again the same uh, 
function that uh, the pituitary is influencing the other gland to secrete their hormones here acth adrenocorticotropic uh, hormone influencing the cortex of the adrenal gland next uh, luteotropic hormone luteotropic hormone is said to be the luteo luteotropic hormone luteotropic hormone lth lth is the luteotropic hormone and it is said to be the lactogenic hormone lactogenic lth is a luteotropic hormone said to be said to be the lactogenic lacto genic means uh, this is the hormone which is for the secretion synthesis and sustaining of the milk from a mammary gland this lactogenic hormone is responsible for the growth and enlargement of the mammary gland and uh, thereby it uh, sustains and synthesizes the milk uh, lacto refer to milk uh, that's the reason why it is named to be the lactogenic uh, hormone hormone of maternity so during the pregnancy time the milk uh, is produced from the mammary glands of the breast that are developed by means of the luteotropic hormone itself that's the reason why it is a lactogenic thereby it stimulates the growth and development of mammary glands of the breast and also stimulate uh, the synthesis and the sustaining the sustaining of the milk that's what it is a lactogenic luteotropic hormone it is uh, related to the maternity mother next uh, one more point we see that uh, luteotropic hormone is also maintains the corpus luteum why corpus luteum is the temporarily acting as an endocrine gland and it secretes the progesterone progesterone maintain the pregnancy so the milk uh, production and the milk uh, the sustaining is a very very required during the pregnancy and uh, followed by the milk adjunction which is done by means of uh, the oxytocin of a uh, neurohypophysis that is the story about uh, luteotropic hormone next gonadotropins both fsh and uh, lh are said to be the both fsh and uh, lh are said to be the gonadotropin why as these two are influencing the gonads fsh influence both male and female lh influence both male and female male and female uh, gonads nothing but the testis in the case of the male and the ovary in the case of the female so in both uh, male and female gonads are influenced by fsh and lh that's what they are the gonadotropins right so first of all we'll go for the fsh fsh stands for follicle stimulating hormone follicle stimulating hormone f follicle follicle stimulating hormone let's discuss uh, the same uh, follicular stimulating hormone it is also said to be the follicular follicular stimulating hormone stimulating a uh, hormone hormone generally the ovary if you see in the case of the females on the surface of the ovary there are many number of rounded product projections name it to be the follicles which are primordial follicle primary follicle secondary follicle tertiary follicle and the mature follicle so the in the ovary the formation of follicle is uh, stimulated by formation and growth of the follicle is stimulated by fsh in females so the function of uh, follicular stimulating hormone in female is to it stimulate and allow the 
permit the maturation growth of the follicles that's what it is name it to be the follicular stimulating hormone right follicular stimulating hormone whereas in the case of the male in case of male it is a showing the spermatogenesis spermatogenesis that is production of uh, the sperms is uh, stimulated by fsh by stimulating the androgen male reproductive hormone testosterone the chief uh, androgen is the testosterone that's what uh, we see both uh, the follicular stimulating hormone influence in female and male particularly on gonads that is testes in the case of the male for spermatogenesis and androgen as well as in females it play role in the maturation of the growth of the follicles that's what it is named to be the follicular stimulating hormone the next one is a lh luteinizing hormone luteinizing hormone what is the role played by fsh in females that is we discussed in that uh, it play role in a uh, growth and maturation of the follicles once the follicle is matured it become a uh, the graphen follicle or mature follicle upon the mature follicle the luteinizing hormone luteinizing hormone in females act uh, on mature follicle thereby it results in uh, ovulation the process of uh, liberation of the process of liberation of secondary oocytic stage the ovum is named to be the ovulation but uh, before ovulation the follicles needs to be mature that uh, maturation of uh, the follicle is done by fsh followed by ovulation in females that is lh next up in the case of the males in case of the males the lh have uh, the important role how let me clear that is uh, this is the testis a testis is with uh, the we see that is uh, the spermata these are all what the spermatogonia and uh, which uh, produces the sperms generally these are all what are said to be the seminiferous tubules in between the seminiferous tubules we find uh, the cells name it to be the the cells that are find uh, in between the seminiferous tubules these are uh, seminiferous tubules seminiferous tubules seminiferous tubule in between the seminiferous tubule they are present name it to be the cells name it to be the interstitial cells or leydig cells interstitial cells interstitial interstitial cells the cells in between the seminiferous tubule or interstitial cells or leydig cells the lh stimulate the leydig cells to synthesize uh, the androgen name it to be the testosterone 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 is a male uh, reproductive hormone thereby the secondary sexual characters uh, in male is maintained by this so lh in female ovulation and uh, lh in male uh, is for the synthesis of uh, the testosterone from leydig cells or interstitial cells as it stimulate the interstitial cells that uh, the lh is named to be the icsh interstitial cell stimulating hormone it stimulate the interstitial cells that's what icsh interstitial cell stimulating uh, hormone thank you